So today I'm making some cabbage. Um, it's partly cut up. It's not completely cut up. And some of it's cut up. As you can see, some of it part way. Some little pieces. I'm going to wash it off. Look, you know, do my little thing with it. And I got some chicken here. And these are legs. And I washed them off. And I seasoned them with this. A little cayenne, a little paprika, some poultry seasoning, and some sesame. Um, I didn't put any salt and pepper yet. Well, I put the cayenne pepper, so I'm most likely won't really use any black pepper. In here I have flour with salt and pepper. Very small amount. You can see the little pepper. And over here I have the oil. And what you do is you you want to put your hand uh, here, right about uh, say uh, eight inches above the pot. Okay, if you can feel, okay, if you put your hand eight inches, okay, above the pot, at least eight. Uh, say let's see. Uh, I say it's about, about a good eight inches right above the pot. Um, and you can feel the heat up there and even 10 inches, 12 inches. If you can feel that heat about 12 inches above that pot, you're in good business. Then that's when it's time. You can actually see it moving around, little particles. I don't know what that is in my oil, but I think it's um, coming off the bottom of the pot. And, you know, it's good to use a nice old pot sometimes, but sometimes it's not worth it. Anyhow, so you can feel the heat on your hand. See, it's very warm. It feels really, really warm on my hand. My hand is way above. I burnt myself sticking my hand in the oven the other day instead of pulling the rack up. That's what happens when you cook a lot. So that's what you want to do. See, I can feel that heat. I can feel it. My hand is, is high above that pot. And I can clearly feel that heat really well. So I know that definitely it's time to put that chicken in. So I'm going to put that chicken in here because I already cleaned it and seasoned it. Right? Okay. Usually I don't like to put it all in at once. But since I'm holding the phone and time is a little bit of essence right now, I usually have this done before the before my um, oil heats up. You know? You see have this already in the bag and done. Completely done. Somebody said my door. I can't believe it. Right now, I'm going to put this, this chicken in this crate. So like I said, if you can hold it up, if you hold your hand up, if you feel that heat right there, Ooh. then you got to put that chicken in, in that pot. Is that chicken? Any made. Oh, so what you really put in there? That chicken, and this is what it's gonna do. Ooh, hey, yo, we out here today. There it is. Got your little brother. Ooh, that's probably too much. He's traveling today, man. Oh, I'm gonna hit the pain, man. That might be too that's much. I don't know. That's kind of high. Maybe I should bring some yeah, of that oil out. Dark. So I'm um, sorry about that a little um, unexpected company, which is nice and delightful. <laughs> You know, um, anyhow, so, this chicken, uh, actually, what happened was the pot was too full. See, it should never be that full. You see how full it is? It was so full that it caused, uh, and when I put it in, I put it in too hard, and the grease actually spilled out of the pan onto the, and made a couple of flames. <laughs> Basically, uh, that has never happened to me before. Uh, first time for everything. I didn't panic. Uh, I just moved the pot off of the eye, turned the eye off, and it went out on its own. And I, of course, I had to clean it off again. 
So that's what's going on. And uh, now, I think it's time. Uh, it looks about done. Let's see. 